Advancing onto Cressingham's vanguard in tightly packed Shiltrans, the Scots may have given the English food for thought as they ominously veered into view at a steady, deliberate pace. Wallace and Murray riding at the forefront, their ranks solid and disciplined, their pace increasing to charging speed. The battle rapidly devolved into a slaughter, the stationary English horse, useless, along with their packed archers, mingled with the infantry. The Scots enjoyed local superiority in numbers and bloodily scythed their way through the panicking English. Soon the exit to the rammed bridge was cut off, forcing many English to attempt swimming the Forth to safety. 